On March 19, 2020, a statement was published to the Roblox Developer Forum that publicized the policy Roblox has adopted for the past few months, which has been very concerning for many developers. I'm going to explain what's going on to make sure you guys are made aware of this information to prevent your games from being taken down and even protect your account from being deleted. As a quick summary, this thread explains that Roblox has been using an automated system for the past few months that scans games to look for any bad language, personal information, or real-life threats found inside of code, in addition to other content that could be considered inappropriate. If this system finds anything of that nature within your code, it supposedly gets sent to a specially trained team for manual review or they will determine if it breaks any rules. While it didn't mention if this applied to things like the names of parts and models, I would assume that they could do so just to be safe. There's quite a few issues that users have been pointing out with this system, especially in relation to the specialized team who reviews these cases. Before providing some more insight from what I have obtained from the 200 plus comments I've read on the thread, here are some things that will keep most players safe from this. For one, if you never use Roblox Studio or configure your places, the only way you will probably be affected from this would be if developers from the games that you play make changes to their games or quit the platform due to this update. If you do use Roblox Studio, make sure your game is clear of any swear words, whether it be the name of a part, model, something inside of a script, etc. Along with this, check to see if what you have in your game aligns with Roblox's terms of service, as it too will apply to scripts inside of your game, even if players don't have access to it. I'll have a simplified version on the screen and in the description below under the important link section. As there are some other things that may be unclear with this thread, such as if the personally identifiable information can be applied to fake information for roleplay games or NPCs, be cautious with what you include in your games. Since there is a lot that goes behind the scenes for each game, we may not be able to know what changes these developers make that you may need to also do for your games. One major concern I have for other players is if they only have the intention of making a game for them and their friends, so they insert some free models into their game that include hidden scripts with content that breaks Roblox's rules. If the system Roblox uses does not allow their team to review anything else outside of the script that has been flagged for review, some innocent players may be caught in the crossfires. To prevent this, here is something I mentioned in my Let's Make a Game tutorial series. Since most of the models in the library are player made, you have to keep in mind that some of these players may have malicious intent when it comes to making models, like some of them might throw in virus scripts into them, which can only affect your Roblox Studio game by the way. It cannot harm any files on your computer. So what you want to do in order to avoid that is you want to go into a completely separate place and test that. Because if you are on an empty base plate where there's nothing else in your game and you put a free model into it, it's much easier to see what it will do. Since you have an empty workspace, you can see if it adds anything else besides what it says it does. If you toss in a few scripts in there that would work normally in a place like this, but it doesn't when there are other free models around, that will show you that that model you input into your game may not be the best one to use. So just keep that in mind when you are building and developing your games. As this is a currently evolving situation, Roblox's announcement thread that I've put into the important links section may be updated by the time you are watching this. You can actually save the place file to your computer to keep everything locally before making adjustments to the place. To do this, go into Roblox Studio, click File at the top left of the screen, then click Save to File As. This will prompt on your screen the option to save this file to somewhere on your computer and you can store it wherever you'll remember it. 
If you want to take the safe route after this, go into every service within the Explorer, which you can enable under the View tab. So a service is everything in here, like the workspace, players, lighting. So for the workspace, you can go over everything in your game and delete everything inside of it. In this case, I've already taken some things out, but of course I have to keep some of these old things I've kept in here. It's very old, very, very old stuff. And in addition to this, you may also have the option within your places to revert its version. You can find this by clicking on the three dots at the top right of um, the game for your page over here, or by going to the create tab over here at the top and then finding the place individually. Once you've gotten to this point, you can go back to the three dots and then click on configure this place. And when you do this, you'll see at the left bar, you'll have a bunch of different options. If you have version history, you can click it where you can see all of the past updates you have made to your game. And this one happens to go back very, very far. As a lot of developers rely on Roblox for income, this system can drastically impact their games, as certain phrases and information such as API keys may have to be obfuscated simply to prevent potentially wrongful moderation due to certain assets being taken out of context from their game, or even facing the risk of their code being leaked if one of the staff members were to go rogue. Although this may not majorly affect the average player, the fact that it has caused such a large reaction from even a small portion of the developer community is very frightening, as without the developers, we wouldn't have all these games on the platform. While I do think that there will be good to come out of this, as Roblox has definitely had positive intentions with updates like these, it's difficult to see what could come next. We must keep in mind that they did open up about this, which is significantly better than not talking about it at all, despite keeping it behind the covers for a couple of months, probably for testing. We have the Bloxies that are just about to take place on the 21st, the Egg Hunt next month, and hopefully a lot more better things to look forward to regardless of these announcements that may add some more stress to our plate. I hope to see some steps towards a better direction so that we don't see some amazing developers leave this platform from a snowball effect of any issues that may be taking place here. Thank you guys for sticking around during this video. Please make sure to stay safe with everything that's going on in the world right now, and remember that everything will be alright. By the time I'm posting this video, I'll be continuing to work on my Roblox history video, which I hope to have out by this weekend or sometime next week. If it's out by the time you're watching this, you can stick around for a couple of seconds and give it a click on the end screens. Anyways, have a wonderful rest of your day everyone, and I will catch you all later.